Okay, en este momento vamos a comenzar la tutoría, perdón, la clase para este inglés intermedio. Solo vamos a esperar a que se conecten los estudiantes. Y vamos a comenzar con un repaso acerca de Permission, Obligation and Prohibition. Eh, permission, Obligation and Prohibition, como lo estábamos estudiando en las clases anteriores, pues era el sujeto, eh, be allowed to. Uh, good evening, Rafael, how are you? Good evening, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, it's, it's good to see you again. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Right now we are waiting for the rest of your classmates. So we are going to check if they are able to, to connect. Did you uh, work in, in the platform, Rafael? Yes. Did you uh, finish it? Almost. Almost. Okay, perfect. Yes, because I think that this is the last day to complete the platform. Uh, uh, I, I have a, 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 there's a, a question. Oh, uh -huh. I, I, I can, I can do it and I don't know what to do. It is, isn't the, the final exam? Mm -hmm. Part C, rewrite sentences. In the final exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so you already complete section five. Yeah. Okay. Section C, final exam, section C, rewrite sentence. Okay, final exam. Uh, this is the listening, section C, rewrite sentence, this one. Yes, the number three, I can do it. Take off your shoes here. You say rewrite the sentences, use the correct form of the verbs. Remember capital letters and peri periods at the end. So it's it seems like, it, it, what, what do you write here? Uh, Got to take off your shoes. Uh, got got to take off your shoes here. Take off your shoes here. Take off your shoes here. Allow. And what is the what what is the option that you have a uh, that you have written? Take off your shoes here. The the option is allow. Allow. Yes. And what is the sentence that you write? ¿Cuál es la, la oración que escribe usted? Pues yo he, yo he escrito varias por todos lados. Le, le he probado, pero ninguna, <risa> me ha, ninguna me ha funcionado. Y es, la, es lo único que me falta. No, Dios, ¿cómo, cómo puede ser? Uh, puede, puede poner, you are allowed to take off your shoes. Or you are allowed to take you off your shoes. You are or you're. Esa sería la respuesta. You are. You are allowed to take off your shoes. Que ese es de permission, ¿verdad? Ese ya la había escrito. No, esa no. 
Ah, vaya, entonces esa puede escribir you are allowed to take out your to take off your shoes. Uh, yeah. y el here no 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 iría. Um, no. Okay. Take your shoes. Vamos a probar. Si sí, trate de saber si le funciona. No. No le funciona. No. Quiero ver. Porque supuestamente eso sería. You are allowed to take off your shoes. Quiero ver. Y si prueba you're allowed, you're allowed. Así con contracción. Voy a probar, permite. Ajá. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Olga, Alejandra, Isaac. We are just checking some questions in the platform. Estamos revisando unas cosas en la plataforma. Mientras ustedes llegaban, gracias por venir viernes, que es el día libre, pero para reponer, ¿verdad? Rápidamente ya lo vamos a reponer y ya después la otra semana es normal. ¿Pudo escribirla, Rafael? Yes, it's right. Thank you, okay. teacher. Ok, perfect. So, it says you're allowed to take off your shoes. Ok. Si tienen alguna pregunta o duda de la plataforma, me pueden decir. Y este, no sé si ya terminaron la plataforma porque la sección 4, porque hoy la tienen que entregar, o sea, ella es el último día. ¿Ya la terminaron? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, ok, perfect. Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. I have a two, uh, a two, two ex exercise. Um, I, I can. Ah, que no lo puedo terminar, pero es en el módulo 1. Ahí se lo voy a poner en, en, en el chat hoy. Porque ahorita estoy en la compu y aquí tengo la plataforma, no lo puedo sacar. Ah, va, está bien. Ok, entonces en el grupo me los va a... Ajá, ahí se lo pongo. Ah, va, está bien. Entonces ahí mándenme el, las preguntas que tengan y si uh -huh. ya terminaron la sección 4, pues qué bien, ¿verdad? Entonces... Si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda, me la pueden hacer saber. Good evening, Roxana. Thank you for coming. Hi, good evening. Okay, very good. How are you? How was your day today? Um, very busy in the office, um, but it's uh, so happy when it's Friday. <laughs> Yes, it's Friday, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. As case, we almost we are going to finish this. I'm sorry if you had plans today, but it's okay. We are going to finish it very soon. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. Very good. Now uh, we are going just to review a little bit. Hoy vamos a tener varias actividades para hacerlo más dinámico. Este, vamos vamos a hacer un review, un review de las permission and obligation and prohibition. Y después vamos a tener la tarea, ¿verdad? Eh, permission and obligation, como les decía antes, son frases, ¿verdad? Que para permission, you're, you're allowed to. You can do this, you cannot do this. For prohibition is lo opuesto. Y para obligación, you have to, ¿verdad? You have to or you have got to. Or you got to is the contraction. Entonces teníamos la tarea. ¿Cuál era la tarea que teníamos? Write five sentences. Write five sentences about what? About uh, rules of, of your in your home or your job. Rules in your house or in your job. Very good. So, did you write the information? Mm, yeah, to my yes. wife, but here, here is it. Okay, perfect, perfect. Let me see here. Ok, eh, ¿quién quiere comenzar para decirnos la, la información? 
Who wants to begin to provide the information? Me. Okay, Rafael, go ahead. Uh, not allow noise when eating. Okay, you're not allowed to make noise when eating. Okay, yeah. why? Why do you have that rule in, in your house? Because it's not good uh, to be talking when you are eating and it's dangerous. Yeah, it's dangerous, right? It's, it's not very polite also and it's, it's dangerous. So you are not allowed to make noise when you're eating. Okay, what is another rule? Wash, wash your hand before, before you take food. Okay, wash your hands before you take food. That is just to be clean, right? Like to before yeah, dinner, yeah. before lunch. Okay, next one. Um, help, helping is good by everything. Helping is good? By everything or for everything. Helping is good by every, what does it mean that rule? Uh, I had too much thing to do it in my home, my house, mm -hmm. and, and everybody have to help me. Okay, so everybody needs to help in your house, right, with the house chores. Yeah. Okay, very good. Do we have another rule? No calling me when I'm driving. Okay, very good. Not calling me when you're driving. And have, 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 have you had that situation before? What do you do when someone's called you when you're driving? Uh, yeah, I, I had to bad look to the people call me when i i am driving uh-huh to me is this way okay so when you when somebody calls you when while you're driving you don't answer never uh sometimes i i have to stop and i I call in again. I think somebody somebody called me because it's a emergency or some something important. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. But, so you, uh huh. But but um, how do you say por lo regular? Or usually, I'm um, I'm usually no no answer it okay usually you don't answer okay very good and the, Perfect. And the last uh -huh. one the last one mm. never wake dark when he's asleep never wake up when somebody is sleeping no when i oh sleeping. when you're sleeping uh -huh. nobody has to wake you up Okay, yeah. very good. And what happens if somebody wakes you up when you're sleeping? Uh, to me, is is some um, it's so uh, um important when I am sleep, and I hate when somebody wake up me. I, I I don't like it's terrible. It's terrible. Okay, you hate when somebody wakes you up. And what do you say when somebody wakes you up? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Stop stop shouting, right? Don't 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 turn on the light. Never. Okay. When I sleep. Okay, that's it, right? It's simple, yeah. okay. Very good, very good. Uh, rules from your house. Everybody needs to help. Um, safe also, right? When you're driving, nobody calls you, and nobody has to wake you up. Very good. 
Now, let's see another one, another person. Alguien más que quiera poner las, uh, las reglas que escribieron de su trabajo, de su escuela, de su casa. Uh, yo solo tengo dos teachers. Ok, ok, no problem. Very good. Uh, we are not allowed to answer the phones when we eating. Ok, and what, what do you have that rule? Because I like to conversation with my husband when we eat. Okay, so while you're on the table, no telephone, even if it is ringing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. I understand. That's good. That's a good rule. And another one? Uh, don't throw garbage in the street. Don't throw garbage on the street. Very good. And and why? How 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 what do you do or or how how have you applied this rule? What happens with that rule? Uh, because uh, for my child, child when 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 was this child, <laughs> um, uh, is very that uh, this city mm -hmm. um, is uh, disagreed. Okay, it's not very mm -hmm. likable. It's not very likable, yes. right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just to be clean with the city and with other people. Yeah. That's how you explain to your to your child. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Perfect. So in the house, no more rules. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, in, in our home uh, or house, um, uh, in the basket, uh, the, the, the trash is in this basket. Oh, the trash always in the mm -hmm. basket, in the waste yes. basket. Okay, that's it. Right? Always, always. Always. Okay, mm -hmm. no bags or no any other place. No. Okay. Um, um, I have a, a one uh, recipient. Recipient? Recipient and um, every, uh, everywhere. Oh, every room. In every room. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. That's good. That's good. That's to be clean and organized. Mm -hmm. Very good, Olga. Thank you very much for your participation. Mm -hmm. Let's see who else wants to participate. Something that you do or you have to follow the rules in your house or in your job. Me, teacher. Okay, Roxana, go ahead. Uh, I um, I have three, three rules. Mm -hmm. um, the first is not allowed listen reggaeton in the house in, in your home. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, because um, this kind of music uh, have a language um, inappropriate for our values, uh, for example, sex or, or addiction or drinks or uh, this type of action that um, uh, it's not uh it's not fine for us okay i understand so nobody listens to reggaeton in your house no one yes no one okay and uh somebody likes reggaeton in your house or no 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 oh, okay so that's it that's an easy rule very good <laughs> okay and the um, other rule yes the, the second is not allow animal abuse in your family Oh, it's not allowed animal abuse in your family. Why? Yes, because uh, we love the animals and uh, we, we believe that the animals can, uh, can integrate the family and the, the respect for, for all type of um, of um, vida of life it, it's it's necessary in in our planet in general and in my family uh, we we protect and, and respect all the animals okay very good and do you have animals do you have pets yes yes uh, i have um, a schnauzer Mm -hmm. um and three cats 
Oh, three cats. So you have one dog and three cats. <laughs> yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. And what is the last rule in your house? Um, is is um in relation to the violence. Um, violence is not allowed in our home. Any kind of viol violence is not allowed. Yes, any kind. And what happens if someone is like violent, probably not physically, but verbally? Mm, um, I consider that is a uh, um, respect for the other. In respect for other people in your house. For other people. And this is not, um, it is not a permission uh, because um, uh, all, all needs all the people needs a respect and um como un trato um kind um, softly i don't i don't know that but no violence no no, violence. no grito no sé cómo se dice no like screams no screams not screams no no crash and nothing okay that's very good that's a very good rule because you have to uh, be respectful with everybody in your house right with animals yes. and okay very good very good rules roxana thank, thank you, you very much uh let's see who else do we have here felix do do you have any rules in your house that you follow or in your job felix are you there or you're yes, driving. Okay. Yes, Good evening. Uh, uh, honesty in, in my home, we don't have rules. You don't have rules? We don't have. In your job? And my job and my house. So you don't have rules in your job and you don't have rules in your house? That's right, because in my job, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, uh, I work like a freelance, so I am my own boss. Okay, what do you do for a living? Oh, a lot of things. A lot of things. <laughs> you sell, <laughs> you, you sell things, or you have a store, or something like that. You're you're self-employed, right? Uh, uh yes. Okay. Just just give, just give me a second. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, please let me Okay. Uh, no okay. Uh, for example, uh, I do. Uh, oh, my friend and me, we have um, like um, how how it's play. Uh, we make trips. You know. Trips. Ah, yes. Okay. For different uh, place. Also, I have a uh, uh, car wash, uh -huh. but uh, it's a uh, domicilio. Ah, uh, so you go to the people's house. Yes. Oh, okay. So, and another things. <laughs> and other things. And you and you take people to trips like touristic places around the yes. El Salvador? Yes. For example, oh. for, for example, uh, Cerro Verde, um, mm. este, El Lago de Huija, eh, Suchitoto. Oh, very no, good. Different place here in Salvador. Oh, that's really interesting. Really good. Really good. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because my friend and me, uh, we have uh, one microbus and five cars. Oh, okay. So in the van, in the in the microbus, you take people and you travel. You do, yes. you do trips. Okay. Yes. For 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 me, this is very important. Uh, no. Uh, learn another language because sometimes we have um, uh, extranjeros. You have foreigners, you have to explain everything in English and everything, right? Yes. Yes, that, that's a very good business, right? Because they are like, they probably they pay you a little bit more for everything, right? Right. Okay, I didn't know that. Very good, Felix. Very good. M maybe, maybe uh, we have one rules, uh, mm -hmm. tipo la puntualidad. Oh, okay, you have to be punctual. Yes. Okay, that's one rule. So if you're not there, what happens? Um, 
Bye bye. You don't, you don't take it to the tree with, with you. Pierdo. <laughs> okay. You lose, you lose money, right? Yes. Okay. I understand. Very good, <laughs> Felix. Uh, thank you for that participation that you have uh, that important rule, right? You have to be punctual. Okay. Alejandra, uh, do you have any rule in your house or in your job? In my job. In my job. Okay, in your job. What kind of rules do you have in your job? Well, we can we can arrive at my work at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. Well, really, I have to. <laughs> so you have to. At eight. Yes. Okay, very good. So you have to be on time at 8 a.m. You have to be working, right? Yes. Okay, what do you do in your job? Um, power proveedoras. You pay providers? Yes. <laughs> okay, very good. And do you have any other uh, role in your job? Like, for example, you have to check something or... Well, well we can eat at... Um, in nuestro lugar de trabajo. You cannot eat in your in your in the in the office, let's say. Yes, because okay. we don't we don't have a, a a place who when when we can eat our lunch. So I I have to take my lunch at the at the desk. Oh, okay. So you don't have like a place to eat. So you have to take your place. You have to take your, your lunch at the desk. Yes. You, cannot, you cannot go outside. That is not allowed. No. Okay, that's okay. That's kind of difficult, right? To take your, mm -hmm. your lunch in your desk. Okay. Yes. Do, you do you have any other <laughs> other rule that you have to follow? Um, and um, we have to use a carnet. Uh, like an ID? Yes. Okay, for your job. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. And what else? Only that? Only that. Only, okay, very good. So you have to be on time. You cannot take your, your lunch to other places. You have to take it there. And also you have to use your, your, word, your ID. Very good. Yeah. Perfect, mm -hmm. Alejandra. Let's see if we have some somebody else. Isaac, what are the rules in your job or in your house? Isaac, are you there? Sí. Yes. Solo recuerdo una, creo. Okay, which one? In my house, is no, in our allowed to drink alcoholic drinks. Ah, uh, okay. So you're not allowed to drink alcoholic drinks? Yes. Have you done it before or not? Not. Okay, and why why do you have that rule? Something happened previously, or or so, it's just a rule that you have in your house? Es porque todo asisten a una iglesia, pero no sé cómo decirlo en inglés. Okay, so everybody goes to the church. Okay. Okay, everybody goes to the church, so you are not not allowed to take alcoholic drinks. Yeah. Alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. In my house, mm -hmm. in, in my work, it's not allowed mm -hmm. to use the cell phone. No pueden usar el teléfono, los clientes. Okay, so you're not allowed to use your cell phone. Why? Es por la confidencialidad de la información, digamos, y no sé cómo se dice. Because of the confidence confidentiality right of the information uh -huh. information okay, okay. Very good. so you are not able to like to use your phones to chat or whatsapp anything nothing nothing okay very good that's a good rule very good okay. thank you isaac for those rules in your house and in your office and okay. anna do you have any rule in your house or in your job uh Hello, teacher. Hello. Oh. In my house, 
There are many rules. Okay, what are some of those are rules? Are difficult uh, to complete. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why so difficult? Um, there are many. Give me one, just one. Um, I clean the house, clean the dishes. Um, uh, uh, como, how do you say doblar la ropa? Uh, ay, o sea, de, ay, ¿cómo le explico eso? Dice, como para el orden de la casa. Prince, I do the, how, do, do, do the house chores, right? Do? Do the house chores. The house, yeah. the house chores house. are like cleaning the dishes, washing the dishes, like organize the clothes. Do the laundry, all of that. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and these rules, principalmente, ¿cómo le digo? Are principalmente uh -huh. for my daughter. Okay, for your daughter. <laughs> yes. Okay, so it's difficult. Por los desastres que ella hace. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's, it's your daughter is there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, very good. So probably it's difficult for her to to do all the house chores, right? Yeah, yes. I understand. Very good, Anna. Thank you very much. In my uh -huh. in my work. Uh huh. Um. No, in my work there aren't difficult. So there are no uh, rules in your job. Uh yes. So say wear uniform, mm -hmm. uh, a kettle. Mm -hmm. And what do yes, you do? Okay. What do you do? What, what what kind of job do you do? Repeat, please. What uh, kind of job do you do? Uh, no, 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 no. ¿Cuál trabajo tiene para te, uh, ah. el uniforme? Uh -huh. um, I work in the government. Ah, okay. You work in the government. So that's why yes. you have to wear uniforms. Yes. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Very good. That's a good rule. Um, mainly because if you work in an institution, right, probably you have to work, wear uh, this kind of uniforms. Very good. Thank you very much for that information. Let's see. Do we have anybody else who is missing? Alguien más que no me faltó? Nobody else? Okay, so we are going right now to check uh, the vocabulary, not the vocabulary, but we are going to review something about modal verbs, just, if, uh, just to review, to finish this uh, section. And at the end, we are going to have a review of the unit, right, a quiz. And probably later we, we are going to have, if we have time, the reading, a video and a role play if we have time to complete all those activities. But uh, this is just general information about models and verbs, right? Um, these are differences and similarities. The main difference between model verbs and adverbs is that they're, they're part of the speech, right? Both are used to convey mood. Ambos tienen que transmitir una idea que es el humor, ¿verdad? Como, En este caso de, de certainty, ¿verdad? De si este se, se puede hacer o qué tan seguido se hace o si se, se debe de hacer, ¿verdad? So, modal verbs are verbs that give additional information about the main verb, while adverbs are words that provide information about a verb, an adjective, an adverb, and a sentence. Entonces, como vemos, los verbos modales nada más dan información extra o modifican el verbo principal. Pero los adverbios um, modifican los adjetivos, los adverbios y las oraciones. También otros verbos, ¿verdad? Y aquí tenemos unos models. Models son, por ejemplo, can, could, shall, should, will, would, may, and might. And esos son como verbos, como tipo de verbos auxiliares, dice ahí. So, some of the sentences or... or um, Examples are, I must apologize for my behavior, or I may have been too harsh, right? So those are models. And also we have more um, 
models, right? For possibilities, I could stay at my uncle's house. I also to ask for advice or permission. Can I use your phone? Or to talk about habits, right? He will go for a walk now and then. So that will be just models. And adverbs, they are words that can modify an adjective, another verb, or a full sentence. Los adjetivos, varios adjetivos terminan en L, Y, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, loudly, my dog barks, barks loudly. Quiet is another adverb, my dog is quite loud. My dog barks rather too loudly and unfortunately, unfortunately también es un adverbio. Y estas son las similaridades, ¿verdad? Things that are similar. We also have the same, um, as you can see on the list, it says adverbs express different contexts. O sea, que son de diferentes contextos. And we can use it for possibilities, predictions, assumptions, willingness, necessities, and habits. So similarities, those uh, that we can use it in, in these kind of messages. Posiciones. Aquí estaban las posiciones que siempre es bueno recordar. The position of barbers, they can appear in different positions, right? At the beginning, like sometime. Usually can be at the uh, in the middle. And next week is another adverb, right? So that can be at the end of a sentence. And the position of modal verbs is next to the main verb, always. For example, Victoria must be out of her mind. Albert should look after his kids. So if you can see there, models are next to the main verb. Y los adverbios pueden cambiar de lugar. They can change of position. Do you have any question about models and adverbs? Questions? No question, but it's a lot of... Um information <laughs> yes it's a lot of information but you can learn this um this is like general information right it's just for you to check more information like with practice and with more exercises you will be able to to handle to, to manage right the okay. these uh these rules like this kind of rules right so I'm going to, we are going to practice. Vamos a practicar un poco. I'm going to give you like a little quiz, right? A quiz. Do you know what a quiz is? This a kind of exam? Kind of, an, yes, kind of an exam, exactly. So we are going to play with, a, with some uh, questions about, um, adverbs and actually the section in general okay so we are going to check here i will give you the instructions right now just one moment please so these are the instructions i will show you um screen so this is like a game right this is like a game. You need to, uh, if you have a QR, si tienen una aplicación QR, nada más pueden ponerla aquí. O si no, si tienen su computadora o su celular, pueden ir a kahoot.it. Y ahí tienen que poner ese número, que es el game pin. Tienen que poner 1075709. Entonces lo pueden hacer desde su celular o lo pueden hacer desde su, su computadora o tablet o lo que estén utilizando. Esto es para que ustedes puedan, por ejemplo, Roxana ya se conectó y ahí pueden poner su nombre, su, pueden poner Roxana o estudiante, ¿verdad? Isaac, exactly. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a ir respondiendo unas preguntas que nos van a aparecer. Nada más tenemos que eh, elegir la opción que nos parezca correcta. And that's it, ¿ok? We have Alejandra there, Rafael, Felix, very good. Tenemos dos, cuatro, cinco, seis. Faltan dos. Ana, ok. 
y entonces ahí en su dispositivo les va a aparecer también este, las preguntas. Van a ir con tiempo, así que tienen que contestar, ¿verdad? Van a tener más o menos 30 o 20 segundos para contestar. But I will read the Olga. Ok, thank you, Olga. Entonces vamos a, a responder ahí. This is in general. This is acerca de la información que les acabo de dar y acerca de lo que hemos estudiado. Así que solo para ver, ¿verdad? Para revisar. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Ok, yes. perfect. Let's start. It says, you are allowed to, is a phrase we use for permission, prohibition, obligation, or possibility. Choose the best option, please. You have 10 seconds. 10 segundos, let's get on. Ay. Está atorado esto, teacher. Really? I'm sorry. El mío está patinando. Finish. Okay. You are allowed to. It's a phrase we use for permission, right? Permission. So, very good. Let's see next one. You have 30 seconds. So, let's see. Very good. Now, aquí van acumulando los puntos, ¿verdad? Next one. What can an adverb modify? Verbs, nouns, adjectives, all the options are correct. What can an adverb modify? ¿Qué puede modificar un adverbio? Verbs, nouns, adjectives, all the options are correct. You have 10 seconds. Um, All the options are correct. Perfect. Oh. They can modify. <laughs> yes, they can modify adjectives, verbs, now different things, right? Very good. No worries. We have more. We have more. Let's see here. What of the following is the mo is a modal. ¿Cuál de estos es un modal? Might, probably, maybe, definitely. Okay, you have 10 seconds. Might, very good. Might is a modal, right? It's a modal verb. Probably, maybe, and definitely are adverbs, right? Adverbs. Mm -hmm. Next one, let's see. Olga is on fire, Olga. Very good. Very good, Olga. Let's see the next one. What sentence is incorrect? Maybe she don't understand. She doesn't understand, maybe. She maybe doesn't understand. All sentences are correct. What is incorrect? ¿Cuál está incorrecta? <laughs> nobody, nobody shows that. Maybe she don't understand right. What is the correct way to say it? Maybe she doesn't right. Maybe she doesn't. That is the mistake there. Next one. Oh. Yeah, maybe she doesn't. Mm -hmm. Next one, let's see. What of the following is a certainty adverb? What is an adverb? Might, may, could, maybe. Did you have 10 seconds. Okay, let's see. Mm 
maybe, right? Maybe is an adverb. The rest are models, right? Models, very good. Next one. Okay, Felix is coming up, followed by Isaac. Let's see. What sentence is correct? Victoria is out of her mind. She must. Must Victoria out of her mind? Victoria is must be out of her mind. All sentences are incorrect. Choose one, please. You have 10 seconds. Let's see. Oh, All sentences are incorrect. Very good, Victoria. The correct one is Victoria must be out of her mind. Very good. We are at the half of it. Vamos a la mitad. Ya vamos a ver quién gana. Alejandra, very good. You're getting up. Let's see. Which sentence is correct? Sometimes I play chess in the evenings. I play chess in the evenings sometimes. I sometimes play chess in the evenings. All sentences are correct. Sometimes it's an adverb, right? So it can be placed in anywhere. Uh, Todas las son correctas, exactly. Sometimes puede ir al principio, a veces al final, y a veces uh, en medio, como podemos ver. Este es un adverbio. Let's see next one. Which sentence is expressing prohibition? Prohibition. He can smoke in the lobby. He can't smoke in the lobby. He has got to smoke in the lobby. All sentences are correct. Prohibition. Very good. The number, the, number, the yellow one, right? Sorry, the yellow one. He can't smoke in the lobby. He can't. Prohibition, prohibition. Very good. Let's see, very good, Alejandra. Let's see next one. This one is true or false. Models can change the position in a sentence. True or false. Models can change the position in a sentence. True, false. It's false, right? Los modales no pueden cambiar porque siempre van al final del verbo principal. Very good. Let's see. Okay, all guys on fire again. Very good. Next, Felix. And next one, Alejandra, Isaac. And let's see next one. True or false again? True or false? The traffic sign is telling you to drive faster than what it is showing. El símbolo de tráfico le muestra que debe de viajar más rápido de lo que debe. ¿Es verdadero o falso? Falso, false, very good. It's telling you to stop, right? That that is the limit, the speed limit. Let's see, next one, we almost finish. Felix is on fire also, let's see. We almost finish. The adverbs sometimes can be at the beginning of a sentence. The adverb sometimes, el adverbio sometimes, a veces puede ir al principio de la oración, falso o verdadero. Let's see. True, very good, true, because it's an adverb, right? Y la última, vamos a ver ya la última. Very good. The last one. Adverbs and models are used to talk about moods. 
true or false? Adverbs and models are used to talk about moods. Los adverbios y los modales se utilizan para hablar acerca de los, de los modos o los humores, ¿verdad? True, very no, good. <laughs> See, I'm sorry if you have any problems. I'm sorry if you have problems. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Let's see who won this quiz. Vamos a ver quién obtuvo las respuestas en el quiz, en el primer quiz que hemos tenido. Okay, Olga, third place. Felix, second place. And the first one is for Isaac. Very good, Isaac. Very good. Congratulations. Very good. No pude contestar la primera, fíjate, porque me desconecté de la clase. Pues. <laughs> okay. But very good. Very, very well done. Very good. Perfect. Okay. So, ahora ya repasamos algo de los adverbios de los modales y de lo que estábamos viendo, okay? But also we have another, I think we have just five minutes, yes. Okay, vamos a dejar eh, la próxima actividad para la próxima clase y vamos a nada más a terminar con esta lectura, la clase de hoy. I want you to help me to read. Quiero que me ayuden a leer. Uh, are you able to see the, the, the letter? Pueden verla, pueden leerlo. Can you read it? Or it's too yeah. small? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we can. Right. Okay. So um, this is pearls of wisdom, right? Pearls. This is talking about uh, proverbs. Do you know proverbs in, in Spanish? Do you know what a proverb is? Dichos o proverbios. Dichos o proverbios. Exactly. What is a proverb in Spanish that, that you know? Un dicho que se sepan en español. El que anda entre la miel, algo se le pega. El que anda entre la miel, algo se le pega. Very good. Another one. Do you know another one? El que madruga. ¿Cómo es? Dios le Dios ayuda. Dios le ayuda. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Very good. So, esos son proverbs, right, in Spanish. But we have proverbs in English. So, uh, we are going to read the, the three paragraphs. Um, I don't know if a volunteer can help me reading, please. Alguien que me ayuda a leerlos. Can I? Okay, Felix, go ahead. Okay, the first. Uh, why do people use proverbs? Mm -hmm. Many people uh, love proverbs for the will, wisdom. Others enjoy the imagines in proverbs. But proverbs are most Impre impressive because they express a lot of information in just a few wor words. A good progress quick, quickly sum up ideas that are something hard to express and the person listening immediately understands the message. Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, number two, who wants to read number two? Where Me do proverbs teacher. come from? Okay, Roxana, go ahead. Proverbs come from two main places, ordinary people and famous people. These two sources are not always distinct. Common and popular wisdom has often been used by famous people. And something they or written down by the well-known person has often been borrowed by the common man. For example, bad news travel fast, probably comes from the experience of um, housewife. However, all's well that ends well, uh, was written by William Shakespeare. Okay, very good. And the third one, the last one? Me. Okay, Phil, uh, Rafael, go ahead. What do proverbs tell us? Proverbs are used every, everywhere in the world. 
If you can understand a cultural proverb, you can better understand the culture itself. There's there are many different ways to use proverbs in daily life. Here are some examples of what proverbs can do. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Rafael. So uh proverbs are our uh, like wisdom, right? Information that they are um we use just a sentence to say a lot of things right and it says that they can come from famous people or common people right and some um proverbs in english is for example a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush what does it mean that the, the letter a this one what do you think that what that 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 means a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush Es like um, cuando decimos nosotros más vale un pájaro en mano que ver cien volando. Es decir, It, tenerlo tangible, ¿verdad? Exactly. Más vale pájaro en mano que cien volando. Exactly. That is the meaning of the first one. Very good. And uh, the second one is one person's meat is another one's poison. La carne o la comida de una persona es el veneno de otra, dice. So that is the meaning in Spanish, right? One person's meat is another one's poison. O como dicen en español, la, la basura de uno es el tesoro de otro, right? Now, letter C, it's don't count your chickens before they hatch. What is the meaning of that? Don't no count. Cuentes, no cuentes ah. tus pollos antes que ellos, ¿qué? Hatch, no, I don't know. Hatches, is... when they Cuando revientan, cuando nace el pollito, ¿verdad? Ok. Ok, don't count your chickens before they hatch, ¿verdad? O sea, que no hay que hacer cuentas de lo que uno a uno tiene, ¿verdad? Very good. And the last one, money doesn't grow on trees. El dinero no, no crece en los árboles. Exactly, money doesn't grow on trees. Very good. So those are the, the meaning of proverbs. In English, there are many proverbs. So they are similar to the one in, in Spanish. So I guess that we are going to finish with this proverbs, the class. Next class, we are going to have, well, if we, if we have time, we can watch this video and we have a role play. Do you know what a role play is? Okay, I can yes. say. Okay, perfect. So it's a, it's a, it's a situation, right? It's una uh, situación simulada. Y ustedes van a interpretar dos papeles diferentes, ¿verdad? So, with the vocabulary that you know. So, this will be for next class for Monday. So, this is just for you to know, for you to be prepared. Okay, so do you have any questions, any other doubt right now? Can you send us uh, this role play at the chat uh, for, for um, practice? Yes, I will send you. I will send you the presentation. I will send you the the role play just for oh, you okay. to have an idea. Okay. Thank you. Okay. I have perfect. a question. Uh huh. Uh, uh the next week uh, will be the the last the last week, right? The last one, yes. Okay. Okay, that that was your question. Okay, perfect. Now, uh, see you on Monday. Uh, Descanse and have a nice weekend. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Night. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.